So I am the vice president of media strategy for the Mattel business, and then I also am the multicultural lead. So I'm leading the Multicultural Center of Excellence. We had a couple of people here from a, a multicultural company, and we we're talking about the need to be up to the minute with cultural stuff and also to be highly sensitive at the same time. How do you guys cope with that? What we kind of talk to clients a lot about is making sure that you have a level of cultural competence, right? So at Digitas, we always use data to identify our audiences, to understand them, um, to garner deep insights, but then we have to have that human element um, to really help us understand how to connect with them in a way that's not going to be offensive. Okay, so the other side of your brain at Mattel must be a completely different world. Yeah. So kids, moms, toys, tell us a little bit about that yeah. and how mobile, for instance, is, is changing. It. So we just saw some data that talked about how um, cell phones are like nannies now and parents don't feel bad about it. Um, as long as they feel like they can co-view and watch the content together, um, it's actually a bonding experience for them, you know, that they can do these things together on the go so frequently. And that to me was just mind blowing, like how much time kids actually spend on mobile devices. What would you say to somebody that's just coming out of college that wants to get into this business yeah. and is a little overwhelmed? Same kind of question. Instead of a client, here's somebody right out of school. What's your guidance for that person? How do I find my way? I'm not even sure what I want to do. So sometimes you might have a job that you know is a stepping stone and it's really just a thing that's going to get you to the next place and that's fine. But I think you should be constantly seeking to be in a job where you are happy to be there. I am not one of those people that thinks that like you just work and work and work and then it's over. I think that you can absolutely have a job that you love, that you actually like to wake up every morning and go be there. And so I just constantly encourage people to seek that. And so we as team leaders have to provide that. How do you yes. do how do you keep people happy? Yeah, so it's tough. You know, I think when I talk to my team, because that's very important to me, so when I got my MBA, one of the things I focused on was managerial and organizational behavior. Um, and so I'm constantly asking my team to tell me, what did you do today that was actually interesting, that you enjoyed? And the key to being a great leader is that sometimes it means you have to let them go and do something else, and they won't be on your team. Um, but they can go on and be awesome on someone else's team or at a different company, but your job as a leader is to help them grow and find those things no matter where they are. Candace, you're terrific. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Great speaking with you. It's very nice to speak to you too.